Welcome to another episode here on your digital makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, I want to focus on this cool little update that has happened now with Mac OS. So if you've been paying attention the last couple of weeks, you know that Mac has released a new operating system called Mac OS Sequoia. And in this update, there's plenty of cool little features. But in today's episode, I just want to focus on the long awaited tiling function. And what do I mean by that? Well, before, if I wanted to have, let's say, for instance, a couple windows opened up next to each other, maybe I want to drag stuff from one window to another or what have you, right? I would usually have to take the windows and just kind of nudge them over here to the side, kind of get them as evenly as I could, right? But now I don't have to do that. Now with Mac OS Sequoia, they can just snap into place by me just moving them all the way to the right or to the left or to whatever quadrant I want to move them to. So now if you notice in this new tiling function, you see that there is a space in between. In order to get rid of that space, all you have to do here is go up to system settings, go over here to desktop and dock, scroll on down to windows and uncheck the thing that says tiled windows have margins. Uncheck that and now your windows don't have margins. And so this is reminiscent to a Another program I used to use on the computer called Magnet that helped me tile my windows. But now with Mac OS, since it's native inside there, I don't have to use that program no more. I can just use the Mac OS. Now, a cool thing here is with Mac OS, there's different ways you can tile your windows. If you click up here to this green maximize button and just hover over it, it'll change to this diagram and I can put them in different grids that I want, however I choose. One thing I really uh, found quite interesting the other day was I wanted to open up several different windows, right? And I wanted to have all four of them in a grid. Well, all I had to do was hover over one of them, hit the four grids like that, and automatically it pops them right into place for me really quick and easy. Conversely, you can go up here to window up here and do the same thing here move and resize to whatever quadrant you want to move or resize that window so there's different ways you can actually move your windows now into different areas on your mac without having to purchase a third-party app in order to make it happen now mac is finally i guess wanted to join the rest of the family and get that taken care of and now it's here in mac os so I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these episodes in the near future, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week and I'll catch you next episode. Take care.